Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh, okay, now let's drink this as fast as we can. Alright, how's it going? Today we are playing some more Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Before I forget, don't forget to like and subscribe to show your support. So, I apologize for any sort of confusion for not uploading a video last week. It got pretty crazy with the Memorial Day weekend and I, in instead of trying, trying to rush it and try to crank out an episode, I decided to take it easy because this year's especially, I, I want to be putting out as good, of, as good of quality as I can. So, that is why there was no episode. But uh, in the meantime, I did quite a bit of progress. Um, the, the main one being farming. So as, as you can see here, I switched this, this farm farm over to a beetroot farm uh, because beet, beet roots, beet, <laughs> beet roots, uh, beet roots, when you harvest them, they don't drop as many seeds as wheat does. So just kind of trying to build up some more seeds here. Um, so last time we, uh, built a farm over here, but I want to, I want to build a lot more of those farms around that whole area over there. So I have been building up all of the different supplies and also some, some supplies to start building some of these guys. Oh, no some of these guys so these these are the huts that the farmers are gonna live in and so as as you can see all of this I can get from trees which is good because I also started a tree farm and so um, all of this is from trees except for the wool so to get that wool I started an animal farm yay so we have sheep farm, cow farm, pig farm, and the the sheep I dyed I dyed orange to to match the beds. And when you breed breed orange sheep with with orange sheep, you get orange sheep kids. Because apparently, <laughs> apparently when you dye a sheep, it it becomes a part of their genetic uh, genetic code. Uh, silly me for not knowing that. Um, so yeah been doing this to build up some wool for those beds I probably have way too much but but uh, overkill is underrated um, here we go got plenty of cows I think I have 16 um, but it's hard to keep track um, and then roughly six sorry uh, 12 12 cows and roughly 12 pigs one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Eh, whatever, it's fine. But you chicken need, need to die. There we go. And then also, so I've been building this up. So I have wheat, wheat right here, beetroots right here, watermelons, and potatoes. So, I, I yeah, I spent quite a bit of time just going, going back and forth, mining this, well, farming this, farming the, the one strip over there, and then also uh, running the sugarcane farm, which is way over there. And so today we are going to kind of flatten out this this area right right here. Uh, add some more farms because all of this area over here is going to eventually be farmland. And also, I, I can show you. I started making a tree farm. Tree? I am no tree. I am an ant. Or a, a forest, I guess. It's not. It's not. It's not an automated tree farm because those are really hard to do. But this is just a collection of trees. I need another one right here. I'm trying to keep it a thick, like a dense forest. And then, and then it'll also double as a spot to 
uh, grind mobs too because um, I went around and in that town town area I put down a lot of torches and but then the the forest is gonna be dark and scary and so it's not it's not gonna have torches in it and the farmland is gonna be lit up so there's this lots of llamas around I love it but on this side I got a request from Honey Bunny uh, check out her her twitch channel in the uh, description she does lots of cool streams uh, right now uh, I think it's Monday Wednesday Friday she is streaming the last of us so if you like horror games definitely definitely check that out I think she also does Rocket League and uh, my little big planet something like that I I've, I've never played that game but uh, I've definitely heard of it so definitely check that out. She's a lot of fun to watch, as especially playing Rocket League. Uh, <laughs> so, but her suggestion here was to add a waterfall coming down on this side, and probably going down into the water, or maybe coming down into a stream that'll go out to the water. But that kind of ties in with with my other plans. So. If, if a waterfall is going to be flowing down, then it has to have some sort of water source up on top of this hill. So, if I can get up... <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can get up from this side. Huh, parkour. Parkour! 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 Extreme! Parkour! Parkour! Alright, here we go. So, what I'm thinking... We're gonna have our base our base up here, which I'm still building up supplies for. But I'm thinking over on this side I could add a big pool in this in this area. And like kind of like a pond up up here, and then from there will what will flow the waterfall that'll go down the hill. So then but but then with our base we can have a balcony going going over the pond and then like have a bunch of fish a fish in the pond. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to get this going. Um, but we need to get some more a few more supplies before we start building this house. I'm thinking hopefully next episode we can start that. And then we're gonna have to tear tear this thing down because it's it is useless anyway. Um, oh yeah, also I've been... Oh, I can... Yeah, I'll leave those. I've been tearing down all of the random farms around the village. Nope. Oh, uh, no. Oh no, it's gonna flow all the way down. No! What are you doing there? Huh? Ooh. Oh, there we go. So, why is that taking so long? Okay, I need to figure out where that skeleton came from. Probably over here somewhere. Let's uh, keep this place lit up. Alright, so. Up there, our base, a, a little pond with a water, a waterfall going down. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I filled in some of this th this area to make it smoother. I got got rid of those random useless farms. Uh, now I'm gonna be adding the big farms. And also another thing that I did was I went fishing, and I got a quite a few items here. So. I got I got some fish as as you can see down here. I got a few enchanted books. Um, none of these that I really am interested in right right now, but we've we have some, and also got two more name tags, so we can name some more of our pets. Oh oh, and then also a saddle. So if we find a horse that we like, we can do that. And what else? Oh yeah, I found out you can shift click and change this this guy's pose look at that i'm just i'm just i'm just gonna leave it like that because that's because that's hilarious oh another thing i've been doing so as as i've been building up supplies as you can see here i have plenty of of wheat melons beetroots 
uh, beetroot seeds. These are the uh, the hardest ones to build up. Um, but yeah, pl plenty of seeds, seeds to plant in the new farms, potatoes, melon seeds, and beetroot seeds. I don't need these. Um, but what I've been doing is that the extras that I get, I'll throw it in this composter right here. So this is a hopper. It, it drops items down into the composter and then, and then the cop, the composter, the hopper pulls, pulls the items from there down, down into this chest. And so it's, if you put in or organic material in, into a composter, it'll produce bone meal and which which bone meal is useful for dyes uh white dyes any any sort of lighter dye so like gray light gray white um light blue and so on um and then also you can take i don't have a flower on me but like you can take a flower here let's do this take one of these dyes if you just place it down it'll grow grass and like random flowers but if if you want specifically yellow dye uh yellow flowers you can do this use use the bone meal and pow lots of yellow flowers so yeah that's basically what what i've been doing here is i've been uh maintaining these farms and then all all the extras i just throw in here and starts starts to pull them down, fills up the composter, and then it automatically pulls out the bone meal. Sixty. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I don't need these. Don't need these. Actually, I don't know if it. Oh, it does. It it does take flowers. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna start tearing down this this area here and building some farms.
Oh, he popped right out of the water. No. Yow, yow. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh, okay, now let's drink this as fast as we can. No more sets effect and we're good. I always hate it when they come around. Actually, I thought I saw a cow. Oops. Ah, oh, there you are. More milk. Thank you all for watching. We have gotten quite a bit bit done today. So we've leveled off this this top area and then some some other flat flat areas for the farmers. And so I'm thinking over here we could put a cactus farm and then also just kind of spread out these these farms and and farmer huts and, and everything. So um, yeah, thank you for watching again, and uh, again, don't forget to like and subscribe to, to show your support. Today's, today's question, what is your favorite biome in Minecraft to live in specifically? So uh, make, make sure to comment down below, and see you next time!